to the stage, y'all. Uh, this you guys are gonna see this guy a little bit later too. He's gonna be co-hosting tonight. A newer comic, really love him. Uh, give up for Joey Capuana, everybody. Yeah. some fun tonight where it's gonna be fun um this is the most teacher looking lady we've ever had at the bar here <laughs> i feel like there's gonna be a call to my parents in about five minutes <laughs> it's awesome that she's sitting right across from chris banks the host of the show who sort of looks like the janitor that multiple parents have complained about why does he have to clean the boys locker room three times a day one should be enough uh, Eric Sparks, everybody, keep it going for him. Love this guy. Woo! Sort of looks like Mac Miller if he survived fentanyl and started doing meth. Oh my god. <laughs> a lot of Mac fans in here tonight. I was, I was, hey, so was I. Um, open my comedy while the sun is still up is sort of like your dad's boyfriend coming over too early. <laughs> I don't know why I said dad. It is Pride Month 2023. The joke was written as mom. <laughs> interesting stuff there. Um, honestly, yeah, speaking of speaking of Pride Month, uh, I'm into trans porn. You guys like that stuff? <laughs> A lot of my friends make fun of me for it. And it's just, um, I mean, have you ever watched straight porn really kind of looked at what's going on there? How is, how is trans porn not gayer than straight porn? I mean, you're watching the dude fuck the chick. Shoulders, body hair, big old cock, a guy's face and asshole. I mean, I'm not not too excited about that. You wouldn't rather watch a chick with tits and a dick bang out another hot one? <laughs> That's something for you guys to do later. So I have a lot of black friends. Um, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. No, but for real, I do. And one thing that I've unfortunately noticed is that they're not the biggest fan of the trans community. But they are the biggest fan of Michael Jackson ever. <laughs> you'll be like, you'll be arguing the trans thing to your black friend, and they'll be like, oh, yeah, I don't really know, man. I don't really fuck with that. That's some such shit. But then you bring up Michael Jackson, and you're like, hey, you know that guy? You see the documentary, right? You watch Leaving Neverland? He'll go, man, Michael was just different. <laughs> okay, six hours of proof, but I guess I, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Sir, what's the gayest thing you've ever done? <laughs> Where do we start? <laughs> this lady is finding some stuff out right now. What, you ever like jerk off at a sleepover? Um, no, I'm not. Uh, two guys, one girl, maybe. Two guys, one girl, they did the devil's threesome. Are you not concerned about the ball to ball ratio there? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> sir, I am sorry I did this, but I'm bombing right now. We're going to have to keep going. <laughs> So when you when you guys fucked this chick together, where were you positioned? Okay, so you did you did a, you did a straight fuck. Did you look at his penis? Because that's the only way it's gay. Look, it's definitely not gay if you're spit roasting. That's what they call that. You guys just learned a new term, and I'm sorry about it. What makes me uncomfortable? Okay, this is what I'm going back to on the transform thing. Is the ball to ball? Are you kidding me? The classic setup for the DP, that's what they call it. That's double penetration, you're learning stuff. That's what they call it when you're fucking the pussy and the, your buddy is fucking the asshole. And what people don't think about when they get into this scenario is that the balls are going to touch. Yeah. <laughs> Gayest thing I've ever done to be sorry. I took it up with a trans girl. I, I thought you were going to ask me, sorry. Um, one time I jerked off at a sleepover. Okay, you ever do that before? It's a good time, but I don't do it in the classic way that my friends would do it. This is something that happened all the time, if, if ladies don't know. Um, you'd go over to the sleepover, you'd all, you'd all jerk off in a circle. I thought that was gay. So I took my mom, my friend's mom, Snuggie, at his house, and I came inside of that, in a separate part of the room. My dad listens to my podcast where I told that story, and at the last family get-together, he goes... 
Ah, dude, your sister's gonna be taking the blow-up mattress tonight. We got you a snuggie. <laughs> In front of my 70-year-old aunt. Transform, guys, try it out. Thank you for having me up here. I'll be hosting the end. I hope you stick around. Give it up for Chris Burns. Give it up for Joey Capuana, everybody. Yeah. If you didn't get enough, you're going to have more than you'd like later of him. Also, uh... Yeah, that is super gay. You're not supposed to stand in a circle with your boys and jerk off. Never did. No, you're supposed to. One person gets the turn at the at the computer, and everyone else goes to the corners like Blair Witch Project <laughs> and just stares against the wall. And that that's you're not gay. You just stare at the corner of the wall. I thought you're gay. Um, all right, guys. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I needed to bring this up here because I can't. I think this 